Hi folks, Mark Schultz here again with Backwood Basics. I want to give a quick overview today of one of the products that we came up with that just makes life a little bit easier out here when you're growing your own produce. And it's our harvest basket. Now, I call it a harvest basket or a garden basket or a garden hod. They have a number of different names, but ours is a pretty easy to build, inexpensive, and very sturdy basket. This has about 25 pounds of potatoes in it right now. And here's one that's empty. You can see it's made with quarter inch hardware cloth, three quarter inch plywood, half inch conduit, and it's all screwed together. So really all you need to build this basket is a, a piece of three quarter inch plywood, this was a two foot by two foot square. I cut down to 20 inches. And then one of the tools you're going to need to cut it out is a saber saw. The side rails consist of just one by three pine, which is screwed into the sides. And I use this Loctite Proline Premium Adhesive, which I just discovered it this year, and it's like welding wood together. This is an amazing adhesive that works well in outdoor applications. Uh, you may not want to buy a whole tube just to glue this joint, but that's what I use, and if you have other uses for it, I highly recommend it. Otherwise, an exterior wood glue would also work, but that's just screwed into the ends. And then the quarter inch hardware cloth is attached and I use, you can just use a, a pan head screw, but I use these lath screws that are available at Menards for those of you who, who live in areas where Menards are, are available. I'm sure other places have them, but they have a nice wide head and they, they give a nice attractive appearance. They're self-tapping, so you don't need to pre-drill any holes, but they're very good for attaching the hardware cloth to the wood. So you need a piece of hardware cloth, quarter-inch galvanized. You need a length of half-inch conduit. You need a length of quarter-inch threaded rod. All of this is much longer than it needs to be, of course. It's really handy using an angle grinder with a metal cutting uh, wheel on it. It makes it real easy to cut the hardware cloth without leaving the little nubs that would be left if you use a, a, a tin snips, although that works also. But they just, uh, you know, they just have a nice clean edge that way so you don't catch it on your legs as you're using it. Another handy item to have is a, just an or orbital sander for sanding the edges. Cordless drill, of course. And then I finish it all off with a, probably two or three coats of an outdoor spar varnish, a water-based spar varnish that I use on, on most of my projects that involve use outdoors that I don't want to paint. Very good product. So that's a quick overview. Again, that e-manual for less than five bucks, you can go on our website, order our e-manual that describes how to build this very handy harvest basket that allows you to rinse off your produce right in the basket. So give us a look at www.backwoodbasics.com.